Hey guys, I'm back with another Batmobile, and this time we're going to be taking a look at the Eagle Moss Subscriber Special, the Armor Mode Batmobile from the 1989 Batman movie. I've had several requests to do a video for this one. Now, this is one of the very first Subscriber Specials that uh, Eagle Moss released, but it's a relatively recent addition to my collection. I didn't start collecting this line until it had been out for a while, so, so we had to find this model on a secondary market. This one isn't always available online, I guess because it's one of the earlier Batmobiles, but you can occasionally find it out there. Now, this version of the 89 Batmobile is sometimes referred to as the Shields or the Cocoon Batmobile. Shields because in the movie, after Batman rescues Vicki Vale from the Joker and they start their escape on foot, Batman says, Shields, and it activates this protective armor around the Batmobile. And I think some fans started to refer to it as the cocoon mode simply because of the design, you know, the way the armor sort of layers around the Batmobile. There was also a variation of the armor mode in Batman Returns when the Penguin was uh, miraculously able to break into the Batmobile and sabotage it, but you know, we're, we're not going to talk about that. Uh, now, some of the earlier Eagle Moss models did a few more things with the diorama. As you can see, this one has the figures inside. It makes it kind of special, but if I'm not mistaken, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, the first couple of subscriber specials, like this armor mode Batmobile and um, the Batwing from the 89 movie, they did not come with a magazine. Uh, they were just bonus models for having a subscription. So, since there's no magazine, let's jump right in and take a look at the diorama. The display is actually coming from that scene later in the movie when Batman uses the Batmobile to infiltrate and attack Ace Chemicals. The 3D lenticular is a pretty good recreation of the wall near where the, uh, the Batmobile stops and goes into armor mode. I like how some of the pipes move when you change the, uh, the angle of the lenticular. And of course, some of the steam changes as well. Now, the base is great. It has this funky pattern of the floor in Ace Chemicals. And again, this is one of the earlier models in this line. So this is back when Eagle Moss occasionally added items to the display base and really made it a literal diorama. They included two of the Joker goons who were uh, foolishly shooting at the Batmobile right after it goes into armor mode. And the detail on these little figures is pretty good. They have their purple jackets with the patches on the side. They each have nice little paint apps, like on their hats, their sunglasses, and the guns. And when you combine the base, the Batmobile, and the background, you get this cool little representation of that moment in the movie. So, let's take a closer look at this model inside the Batcave. The first thing that you notice when you pick it up is that this thing is heavy, especially when you compare it with the other models in the line. The entire top side is a single piece of die-cast metal. And the design is fairly simple, right? It's a lot of straight lines. Not incredibly detailed, but I think that's what makes it such a classic design. You really see what's going on with the covering of the cockpit and the front turbine, and those sort of pinwheel covers over the tires and hubcaps. I can understand why, why some people describe uh, the shields as a cocoon, just the way that it covers the Batmobile. You can really see how the actual Batmobile could be underneath all of that. Just give you a look at the backside here. So it continues with those armored lines over the exhaust port too. Now, the bottom plate is plastic, and mine has a pretty serious crack on it. It's too bad, but, you know, of course, you never really see that when it's on display. One thing that I think is cool is that they actually included the usual rubber wheels. Eagle Moss didn't have to do that because you don't see the wheels either when it's on display. Uh, they even have the tread on the tires, so I think that's a, a nice little touch that they added. Again, it's a very straightforward model because it's one solid piece on the top, but I think it looks fantastic. It looks like it came right out of the movie. So, comparison time. The obvious comparison that I want to show you is with the standard Eagle Moss 89 Batmobile. Because, technically, 
this Batmobile is meant to be underneath the armored version. But let's take a look at them side by side. You can see they did a pretty good job in terms of the size, right? They're both in scale with each other, and you can tell that the armored version has enough bulk to make it seem like it could actually cover and protect the Batmobile. I think they look great side by side. I also have a version of the armored 89 Batmobile from Hot Wheels. This is the 150 scale, so it's obviously a little smaller. Like most Hot Wheels, it's all die-cast metal with rolling wheels, and you can tell there are some major differences between these two, right? I think in terms of the sculpt, though, the Eagle Moss is probably more movie accurate, but the Hot Wheels is still a cool little model, you know? Let me give you a closer look at this one. I think it's interesting that they gave it this weathered look with the, the gray coloring, you know? It's a neat little variation, and it has some nice detail on the bottom. And in addition to the rolling wheels, it has one more feature. The top slides open and reveals the Batmobile underneath. You don't really see that in the movie, but I think it's a cool little play feature. I think out of all the 150 scale Hot Wheels Batmobiles, this one probably has the most solid construction. Now, I have one more version of the armored Batmobile that I want to show you. Um, it's another one by Hot Wheels. This is their 164 scale Elite set. I believe this was a limited run, but they're fairly easy to find online. This was one of my very first Batmobile collectibles. Let me take off the case cover so you can get a better look. Now, I don't want to detach these from the base, but I still wanted to share it with you guys because I, I just love this set. It's so cool for the size, you know. Uh, they're very detailed little models. The standard 89 Batmobile looks great. And this 164 scale version of the, the armored Batmobile is more accurate than their 150 scale. And the display base is great. You guys know I love blueprints, and uh, the, the blueprint background is great. And it also has the, uh, the Bat logo in the corner there. It's definitely one of my favorite sets in my collection. And the armored version is very similar to the large scale Eagle Moss release. In closing, this is a fairly simple model of the Batmobile, but Eagle Moss did another fantastic job with this sculpt. It's an earlier release, so the diorama comes with a few more features, and if you're a big fan of the original 89 Batmobile, and I know most of us are, then I think this model is a great companion piece to go on display with the standard version of the Batmobile. The design is very cool, and the construction of the model is solid. I wouldn't say that this one is incredibly hard to find if you didn't have a subscription. I have seen a few pop up on eBay, and they're not quite as expensive as some of the other exclusive models out there. I found mine from a UK seller on eBay, and my good friend Stu Murray helped me get it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. As always, thank you all for subscribing and for taking the time to leave great comments. I always appreciate it, guys. So, we've been looking at the Eagle Moss Subscribers Special. The Armor Mode Batmobile from the 1989 movie, Batman. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.